the Delma Kasum Memorial Community Contributor. Davida Delore. Davida Delore is a tireless community volunteer who has dedicated herself to the sport of curling in Hay River as well as the greater Northwest Territories. Not only is Davida the president of the Hay River Curling Club, she donates her time to officiating the sport of curling. She truly is an inspiration to all in Hay River. Gary Schwarzenberger. Gary has been the go-to guy at the Fort Smith Curling Club for the past 30 years, contributing his time to fundraising, event planning, the overall maintenance of the club, but most importantly, he has held the vital position of ice maker. Without Gary's dedication to the club, the sport of curling in Fort Smith would not exist. Kyle Kaptana. Kyle wears many hats when it comes to sports in the North. As an athlete, coach, volunteer, and demonstrator, Kyle makes himself available to his community, whether it be in hockey, Northern Games, or slow pitch. Kyle has represented Anuvik in past Arctic Winter Games in Northern Games, as well as been a part of many Anuvik slow pitch and fastball tournaments, and most recently, the NHC for Hockey. Your 2013 Sport North Delma Kasu Memorial Community Contributor is Paul Stipdonk. Paul Stipdonk has become an integral part of sport in Fort Simpson and its surrounding communities for over 20 years. Paul has shared his passion for sport with adults and youth, encouraging them to become involved in any facet of sport, whether it may be coaching, fundraising, playing, or officiating to help them keep fit and active while achieving the feeling of being part of a team and building self-esteem. Paul has always led by example. He toured to all the communities in the McKenzie region to encourage youth to participate and exposed adults to roles they could take on to support the youth, coaching, chaperoning, and organizing. Although Paul supports all sporting activities, his passion was directed towards soccer and track and field. For these sports to be stable within the McKenzie region, Paul obtained his officials and coaching certifications. He has also gone to great lengths to obtain his Class 1 driver's license so he would be able to ensure safe travel for youth to tournaments throughout the North, but also down South. Paul's sense of humor, compassion, and all-inclusive attitude of sport has given many youth in Fort Simpson and the Daycho a sense of belonging and acceptance while creating visions and dreams for their futures. The rapport that he has built with the community has made him loved not just by athletes, but their parents fellow coaches and colleagues alike and made him an important element of life not only in Fort Simpson but throughout the North as well.